Hi, it's Chef and Builder Janie Pendleton. We are back with our prepping channel. If you're prepping for inclement weather, you can see behind me we have severe thunderstorms. I've been filming them all day. We're going to post that video right here. And um, basically, what I want to show you today for our prepper tip number seven is what type of cookware to buy for your bug out bag. Now, obviously, you're going to want to buy something according to the number of uh, people you have in your family. Uh, it's my husband and I and our daughter and possibly my mother and my son and his family in a real emergency. I mean, we would be down in the shelter if it was more like a war situation. Um, we'd probably be down with more people. If it's a tornado situation, which is our most likely scenario, then it'd probably just be my husband and I and possibly our daughter during the summer, which is from the weather time for us when she's out of college. Well, she's, she's in China. She hasn't even been to see the house yet. But speaking of China, this cookware set did come from China. And I know what you're saying. You know, don't, you know support American-made products stuff like that. Well, to be honest with you, I saw some stainless steel ones. I've owned some stainless steel ones and some different graphite ones. But I have to tell you, for the challenge, this is the set that I'm going to recommend. It was a little bit expensive. It was free shipping to America but it was still $59 and I'm going to show you why in a minute. This is worth its weight in gold right here. I'm very happy with it. The guy that sold it to me was very friendly. I got this off of eBay and I looked for the best price and um, I think there's another set there today that was on there for, uh, for $54 which is even better than what I did but it was by the same guy. So um, I think he just went off what my offer was. So that's about what I picked it up for. But they sell for about $59 to $60 or higher on eBay and you can get a combination of one pot, two pot, a fry pan with the, that also doubles as a bake pan. You can get it with the scrubber. The, well, these guys actually come with rice bowls. You can see this right here. They actually come with the rice bowls and like a little rice paddle spoon. And you can get some different size pots, the fry pan, and here I got the extra, I got the teapot because I do drink tea and it even came with the tea strainer. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you this picture up close. See it's written in the Chinese there. Um, came well packaged, so I was happy about that. I really can't read Chinese. My daughter probably will by the time she gets home from China. And I'm going to bring you in a little closer so you can see this Basically a this comes in a netted drawstring bag. You just pull this squeeze and pull your little button here and let me tell you about the nylon bag first of all it's a fine mesh nylon bag it's very very sturdy and this can be used for multiple things anything from floating beer bottles in a cold stream or catching fish and putting fish or bait in here to washing your dishes in the stream or in, um, in water or just putting your dirty laundry in so these mesh sacks can be used for a lot of things so, uh, so it's another little handy thing to have. And I'm sure if you want to post your thing that you use your mess sack for, we would love to hear it. We'd love to hear tips. Now, this just it comes right out really easily. Now, as you can see, I haven't used this set yet. I got it the other day. Okay, as you can see, we have a nice, durable sack. Okay? Just don't throw this away. Even if you don't use it, use it for delicate, for your wife's delicate pantyhose or something going through the laundry. I mean, there's a lot of things you can use this for. All right, so now what we have here is this is called fire maple. Make sure that you can see that up close. It's called fire maple cook set. And um, the handles themselves, watch this. You hear that? You press this little button with your thumb here, and it just goes right back over again. Um, very sturdy. Now this is filled with all the other pots, and um, I think this weighs like because um, this is this is the bigger this is the bigger cook set. You can see by the size of my hand that this is the bigger cook set. And I'm not sure. Does it say on the side what it is? Well, yeah, it does. Okay. So right here it just says fire maple on here. And then here you have the amount of, uh, of liters. This is actually going to liters. So this is two liters up to here to give you an idea. Got it so you can read it from the inside of the pot. On the lid here, 
You have a handle that just goes down like this. It's very sturdy, and when you pull it up, it stays up, and I like that because then you don't have to worry about trying on a hot fire trying to pick that up. So it stays up. It has the boil over ring here to keep it from overflowing, and it has the strainer pot for pasta, okay? Or water, you whenever know, you want to pour off any kind of water. Now this lid, we're going to set this aside for just a minute, and here you will see it reveals another pot. We'll take that out, and I keep my paper in mine. It keeps it keeps it all from scratching. And this is um, this, these are aluminum pots, and you never want to cook an aluminum acidic food unless they're covered in graphite. And these are covered in a really nice um, stick-free graphite, and I really like that about this. Now this handle also folds down just like that. See that little point right there? It's easy to fold up and down. Heat proof handle, very easy, very comfortable on the hands. I really, really love these pots. Again, you've got the, the handle that pops up like that, and you just pop it up, pop it down for storage, pop it up for cooking, and then you can take your, um, your mitt, your glove, whatever you've got, and lift this up pretty easily. Again, you've got the uh, boil over ring here, and you also have that pasta spout there that's really important, that drain spout, and it also lets steam out. Things can get pretty hot on a campfire. Okay, now again, well, got to do it right. It's just a really, just really sturdy handle. Look at that. It's really sturdy, not too heavy of a pot. This is a sturdy pot. I mean, this is it. I'm in construction and I'm not bending that, okay? That's a really nice sturdy pot. And again, you have your measurements right down here on the front. Okay. Now here we have the smaller pot. Here you have what they call the rice spoon, but this is still great for stirring right there. Now here's another little lid. This is how it gets packed in here. This is for the teapot, and it also has the boil and steam top. This set, of course, is from China, so they have the rice bowls. But you know what? These are perfect for soup, cereal, or, you know, what have you, okay? They may call them a rice bowl, but they are an exact one-cup measurement as well, okay? And this is great for when you're cooking. You'll know what your measurements are. So half a bowl, this is a half a cup to a quarter cup. I mean, you can pretty much figure that out. All right, so besides the two bowls and the spoon, we also have the scrubby pad. And it's a nice, nice one too. All right, so we have that to clean your cookware. And our big surprise is way down here in the bottom. By the way, this pan right here was a 1.5. So this right here is one and a half liters. And you can see it inside the pot there just a little bit better, the writing. All right, now here we have the cool to touch top teapot. Now, isn't that cute? You got your little spout. You've got the the lid with the steam vent in it. You got the stay up uh, top here that you can snap down, or that you can get to stay up just like that. And this is perfect right here. The lid don't pop off with that. So you can pour your water out just like that right there and the lid stays on and that's nice so you don't have to fetch that out of the fire. That's very, very nice to have. And I like that these either came in, you know, these are all graphite, but what I liked about these is that they came in the different colors. You can get this in red or uh, blue, like a bright blue, or this orange. Now the orange is the only one I could find that was available that also had the, tea, the teapot with it. Okay, now believe it or not, there's more. Besides the lids here, this also came with a tea leaf strainer. So if you're out in the, um, in the woods and you're thirsty, you can gather up your dandelion leaves or your nettle, or maybe you brought some of your favorite tea with you, some picot tea or something along that line. Just put the tea in here. Um, make sure that little piece there, it goes down on there just like that. Give it a close. And the only thing this didn't come with was a chain, and I'm going to buy a chain to slip on that little piece right there. 
and then you just take and you keep your tea like that right there on the thing and then you don't have to worry about getting your um, and see this is because you know getting your tea leaves into things but this is nice because Chinese they're gonna think of something like that and I like my tea and the Chinese like their tea so I knew that I would be happier with with this set and it's a perfect uh, it's a perfect two cup um, for any size glass I mean there's there's two full cups of water that fit, that fit in here so um, so a great way to boil water as well so you have your pasta lids you have you can do your baked beans you can do pasta chicken alfredo you can heat up you know your mylar bags of uh, dehydrated foods and freeze-dried foods that you have you've got your hot water to to rehydrate your foods as well you've got your two bowls you've got your scrubby you've got your your spoon for stirring you've got your graphite covered uh, cookware and this makes it just all the more special you've got your fry pan for frying the ridges for frying fish or steaks or kebabs keep things from sticking here again this is really sturdy it's, I can't bend it <laughs> yeah I can't bend it I'm sure a man could but I can't I'm pretty strong since I'm in construction and I couldn't bend it and again looky it's got the same handle okay so you're getting it in and out the fire. You can make cornbread in this, soda bread. You know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm Scottish, so we've got, we make the Scottish soda breads, the Irish soda breads, things like that. Um, we like cornmeal. Cornmeal is very, a good thing to have around in your bug out bag. So there you go. And again, you have a really, really sturdy um, handle on this. You look at the, look at the springing on that. Okay, and it just latches easily, and it doesn't. <clears throat> this is really strong. Okay, and there you have it. All that fit into this bag right here. Believe it or not. So I hope you enjoyed this review of this cookware set. Again, I got this. The name of it is called Fire Maple. And I got it off of eBay, and some camp stores will also uh, carry this set as well. This is my opinion on it. We do do a lot of cookouts and bug outs, and we just got back from one, and um, we just got over another really severe storm here. We just had tornado warnings here again. So um, that's central Indiana for you. And I'm sure with the weather changes in your area, we are getting a lot of that you know, a lot of weather changes and stuff. Um, like I said, my mom's 70 years old and she says she's never seen anything like this since the 1950s. When, um, and then later on, that's of course, you remember they had the twin tornadoes in central Indiana and they lost the roof of their, uh, of their garage. And it could have been much worse. People lost miles and miles of homes. So I myself have witnessed a lot of tornadoes and especially in the last two years. I've probably witnessed three or four of them just in the last two years, if not more. So keep your, keep your paper, keep them wrapped, keep them from getting scratched. I know they're going to be over a campfire. And also, this company, Fire Maple, makes a little gas oil-filled, or I don't know if it, I think it takes multiple fuels. I'll have to check that out for you. But it takes, it's got like the little star um, uh, gas heater, okay? And, and the unit itself is the gas heater. You just fill it up with your cooking oils and it just lights right up and sits on here about like this right here. And it will hold it with the little, the little uh, fuel unit on the bottom. And I think they also make one where it's got the fuel unit tube on the side. But I prefer to actually have the fuel unit you know, directly underneath of it because that's a lot easier for me to carry in my backpack. Now, here's something else you want to consider. How much of this do you carry? And what do you decide to take? It just depends on the size of your family. If it's just my husband and I, I know that we're, we're really likely to make some bread. So I'll want to take this. I know that this is important to me, but it's not necessary. So what I may take along might just be the tea ball, the two bowls, the sponge to clean with, and I might take those along. I know I can always use this, especially fishing, because I can put the fish in it. 
might just take along, since it's just the two of us, I might just take along the smaller pot. Fill this up with some more, you know, fire starters or whatever, and put that there, and we may put the actual, you know, the little pot thing that I was talking about. We might actually put that in here like this, and then um, one pack the actual fuel can, canister, you know, the stove, the actual outdoor cook stove, and, or some sort of uh, fire type stove, and then the other one may carry what we need for the food. And my husband would probably carry the heavier pack. Okay, that's, I mean, that's just, sorry to say, that's just the way that it would probably be. Um, I'm not trying to put more on him, it's just that he would carry the tent and I would probably carry a little less weight. His pack's bigger than mine, number one. His holds about uh, a liter to two liters more than mine, than my pack. Although they're the same, the bottom on his is a little bigger. So, that's it. And I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And like I said, and they're really easy to pack back up. So as we sign out, I'm going to pack all this back out, and I'm going to show you how and how, how quick it is. The handle. Put the teapot in the paper. handle that folds upwards. There we go. Got that inside out. That's fine. And there we go. And then our cook set. Lightweight. I think it weighs probably about, I would put this in at probably about a pound and three quarters to two pounds. You compare it to a pound of ground beef, so almost two pounds. Um, but that's fine. Like I said, if you split this among the two packs, or if you just get somebody to carry something else while somebody else carries this in the pack, that works. And you don't even have to carry the whole set, depending how long you're going to be gone and how many people that you're cooking for. And this cooks for four to six people, believe it or not. That's that's the figuring on this. The two extra uh, um, stock or the two extra stock pots on this. That makes this a two to four person uh, pan set. So if just one person is carrying this and someone else can carry the tent, and maybe somebody else can carry the steaks for the tent. So you just kind of divide that out, and everybody's needs in your bag, in your hiking bag, and in your storm shelter will be different. Because I can always add this to my bag later. So. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the Fire Maple uh, camp set, and we hope that you return for prepping tip number nine. It's coming up. Blessings. <laughs>